Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Friday the 16th of April. It is already 52 degrees. It was 30 this morning. Yeah, 52. Old Kai Kai about ready to take her morning siesta again after one morning after another. Not a cloud in the sky. And believe it or not, we're getting fire warnings already because of the unusual dryness. Well, that's not very good light to try to show you that, is it? All right, let's set off and get a Friday going. Well, Mama, yes, are you happy so. that the weekend is upon us? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I am too. Oh, my Lord, what a crazy, crazy. It's weekend. weird. For some reason, I'm more excited about it being Friday than I have been excited about a Friday in a while. I have no idea. I have nothing special planned. No, I don't know. Probably just because you know it's going to be nice all weekend. Yeah. So There's no... Like, There's some crap. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I need to remember that for motorcycles. Yeah. So you throw just wet tar on the bump holes. Let, let all the cars and motorcycles pat it down yeah. for you. Bring the steamroller with you, boy. All right. Well, that that's, we'll be hearing that for a while. Yeah, that's going to spit out for a while. Yeah. All right. Let's grab a little bit. Now, that's how you like to see the ship sitting out there. Look at this weather. Good Lord, woman, it's 63 degrees down here. It's going to be a warm one. Yeah, she's going to be hot. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice. Boy, I tell you what, that air conditioner, it's so quiet that you don't know it's there. Then That's you walk cool. outside to come upstairs to get a part or a cup of coffee or whatever you're going up for. Holy moly! It's warm out here. Yeah, Ryan come in. He was out there working on a boat when it was like 70-something out there yesterday. And he comes in and sweat all over and goes, oh, my God, it feels good in here. Mm -hmm. It's funny. It's It's like you don't know it's there, but it's there. Yeah. <laughs> Love it's it. Good. Well, anyway, have yourself an awesome Friday. And before you know, we'll be heading home. You too, hubba hubba. Starting that weekend. Yes. I got a K1600. I got to do a tranny job on. Gotcha. Lord help me. <laughs> All right. All right, baby. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Mm, bye. You know, my lovely 2015 uh, RT um, special series. They want me to sign the inside of the hood of that thing. The gentleman's, I think he's going to pick it up this weekend. That's not it. It's the black and red one. I think the red's about the same color as that. So let's go see what we got going on here. All right. This is my beautiful 2015 demo. You guys remember this. He's getting some armrests put on as well. But they have me sign the inside of the hood. <laughs> Very cool. Super cool. There's holes in there. <laughs> Another big hole right down there. My favorite. So it's been a while, but we're having to take, following the old ways, having to divert our route. But look, St. Helens, beautiful countryside it's that's a good way to start off a friday anyway yeah. but we are just crawling along down this little back road ways has gotten too popular and everybody uses it yeah. remember when it was like our little secret I know. <laughs> not no more anyway we're off work we're trying to get home and start our weekend yeah we'll get there be there directly since it's Friday night, how about we get this menagerie I got going here, get this thing back together, <laughs> back together so she's uh, at least rideable. Um, I'll probably end up riding it at some point. Who knows? Maybe I'll switch around and other things. I just got this urge to ride this thing all the time. It's so fun. Just crazy, crazy fun. But anyway, she ain't doing nothing there, so I need to button everything up and uh, go through the rest of the maintenance uh, chain and whatnot. I should probably flush the brakes because this is a 
a 2019, so it's old enough. I should probably at least test it, and I'm sure they'll just need to be flushed. That's all there is to that. So uh, let's continue on with the service here. First thing, get the valve cover and all that stuff put on. So here we go. Fairly tight fit for that valve cover. So anyway, we got the valve cover on, the uh, iridium spark plugs installed, horns back on. They do a nice job of uh, um, greasing all the terminals and stuff. That's pretty impressive. I'm just super impressed with these with these bikes overall. I know I go on and on about it, but really, I mean, for what I paid for this thing, it's just absolutely nuts. <laughs> Lovely motorcycles. There she is. She has officially gone through her complete first service. I checked the brake fluid. It's at 1%, which is definitely safe. And <laughs> I was about ready to flush them. And then I forgot. I, I've never dealt with the uh, with the uh, Brembo or Bybury, Bybury um, recall. I need to get those replaced. Um, I talked to uh, the owner. Yeah, I talked to the owner about it. He goes, yeah, no problem. He, of course, he owns both stores. He says, that shouldn't be a problem. Just let them know. They'll get it. They'll get you hooked up. <laughs> so I need to, uh, I'll just take a, um, a photocopy. Actually, I just use a scanner thing on my phone and turn it into a PDF and uh, email them and get the ball rolling with mileage and VIN number and all that stuff. Because this didn't come from our store. This is from uh, Northwest Harley-Davidson. Which I guess are really close to the Pan America. I have a bad feeling about the Pan America. <laughs> in, a, in a very bad meaning. I, I don't think I'll be able to resist that thing. The S model. Harley's done the research with that thing. That's going to be a bad boy. Um, I guess some dealers, even Northwest, I think were invited to, uh, to go play around and, uh, compare it to other major ADV players. And, uh, yeah, the response is very, very positive. The positives far outweigh the negatives. And I guess the power characteristics and stuff of it is just amazing. So I can't wait to, uh, Talk to Joey and him about that. Um, they've got a ride going Sunday, but then Kelly and I kind of want to do something on Sunday as well. So I don't know what we'll do. She would, I don't think she would uh, ride a bike on it. I mean, she could ride the spider, but she's never ridden in a group ride. That might be weird. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll just, if we decide to do that, we'll just take the, the road king up there and, be all comfy and cozy and go riding with some folks. It'll be kind of fun. Them Royal Enfields. I know I go on and on and on and on. But it just amazes me the fun for the buck out of this thing. And I just truly love the way it looks. There's just like not a negative thing I have to say about it. Absolutely nothing. It's plenty fast enough. It's sporty enough. You can ride it fast. It's it's crazy. And it's comfortable. Crazy comfortable. Absolutely amazing. Just love the way it looks. I'm glad I picked uh, the Mr. Or Dr. Mayhem. I'm sorry. That's the color. They give the colors names, which I think is cool. So it's Dr. Mayhem. When I first seen it, and it was this motorcycle, the first thing I said to Kelly is, what the heck with that high-vis green thing on there? I go, what knucklehead? I know all those high-vis things, I just do not like the look of them, but I don't know. I don't, I don't even see that that's a high-vis color anymore. I just see... My lovely, lovely, lovely motorcycle. 
Sascha. I can sit here and stare at this thing all night long. Y'all want to sit here and stare with it? We'll just prop the camera up on a tripod and we'll just sit here and stare at it. <laughs> I'm probably going to drive you guys nuts with it. I don't care. I, I just do what I like. I really like that. What do you think, Sasha? He's over there sniffing on. I first brought her in here. Service is super simple. Everything's just basic. Just like I was saying earlier, just back to good old basic motorcycles. Back when motorcycling was new to you and exciting and you could work on it yourself. But yet it has, you know, some high-tech stuff. It's got ABS. It's nice ABS. Fuel injections, you know, we're about flushing the bowl, every drain in the bowl. You know, this thing hasn't been on a charger since last Sunday. Is that when I rode it? For almost a week. So I need to back her in her little hole there and let her cook on the charger. That's not long enough to hurt anything, but I, everything immediately, as you guys know, everything immediately goes on a charger. Even the, the brand new 1250 GSA. Now I walked out here tonight and walked past that thing and did a double take and I just, it just like shocked me. I'm like, holy moly, that thing's gorgeous. I like this this new, well, they went back to the rally, as you know. They dropped, they did the HP for two years and jumped out. That was more of the street bike stuff anyway. I don't know. I don't know. And I think that's what they're doing too is like I like to refer to that small rally logo there is they're slowly reintroducing the rally to us without any kind of big fanfare. And for a while, the system was calling it Style HP and then everything switched. Now it says, it says Style Rally. These are something else. Ain't nothing simple about these, though. But it's just high-tech beyond belief. And it's really, really fun to ride. They just do everything so well. But, you know, that kind of thing, this type of stuff, you pay for it. You pay dearly for it. All that high-tech stuff don't come cheap. But it's premium. Be, I mean, very, very premium. There's nothing chintzy or cheesy anywhere. But, uh, you know, they're not, to most people, they're, they're not, they're not very user friendly. But as far as, you know, basic service stuff, dude, you can do this. I mean, the valve adjustments and stuff, it, it takes some special tools and stuff like that, but it's doable. Of course, you know, that's, I do this for a living, so I, I may see this a little different than, than you guys might. So, I don't service them at home. I take it to work. I gotta hook it up to the computer. <laughs> and there's, there's workarounds with that too, but when, uh, when and if something goes wrong with one of these things, it's really expensive and you, Pretty much want to be following the rules, or you better be very adamant about keeping your records if something happens. All Harley wants you to do is change the oil at least at least every 5,000 miles. And if you can show some kind of proof you did that, things like Northwest Harley-Davidson, all I do, I just keep all my records of all the services I do, and I literally have a lifetime warranty on this thing. It's crazy, and it's no joke. <laughs> what you do? You scared yourself, didn't you? That's pretty cool. If you read through that that deal, and it, it, you know what it cost you? Nothing. And the main thing is at least change the oil every 5,000 miles. You know, so I keep records of everything. 
As you guys know, I'm kind of a record-keeping freak. I keep you know, everything. I got my gas mileage thing. Is That's just like my core thing. It's a spreadsheet that I built. And um, it just I enter a couple of things. It, I say what the mileage is, how much up, how much I paid for gas, and what the price is, and the sheet just takes care of everything else. Good lord, I've been using that thing. Holy moly, that same spreadsheet probably in the '90s somewhere. Or was that the late '80s? When did Microsoft come out with it? I don't know. A long time. I've been a crazy long time Excel user. Anyway, that's it for hanging out here. Sasha and I, Annie's out there probably freaking out because she's not with her. So thanks for hanging out for basically another Royal Enfield Continental GT650 video. Well, hello there, YouTube. Boy, talking about last minute catching the light out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do what you got to do. That's a, yeah, that's a hawk flying out there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're watching this bird. Oh, the, the, um. Sunset is glowing under its wings. That's really cool. Oh, it's very pretty. Yeah, it's cruising around looking for something out here. Small critters. Yep. Yeah. Just don't grab the dog. Yeah, can't. None of our dog. dogs are that small. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was an awesome day at work. Um, met a whole bunch of you guys that I haven't seen in a while on yes. spiders and BMWs. Very and nice. And one gentleman is a spider and a BMW. Mm -hmm. Guy has both, lives in both worlds. That's kind of cool. He's very, very sweet. Yeah, we tinkered with his uh, his um, R1250R for a little bit, checking out stuff. But yeah, it was a lot of visitors today. <laughs> that was fun, signing the hood of my old demo. Hmm. That was the last one we got some good good trip time on. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. That thing will, I'll remember that spider for a long time. Yeah. And then that the one after it, the poor bike that never got to go on a trip. I know. You remember somebody took it for a trip, but it wasn't with us on it. I know. It was after I turned it in. At least but, they got to go. Oh, yeah. So at least it went on a trip. Mm -hmm. Who knows what it's gone on since then. That's a long time ago. But anyway, hope you enjoyed tinkering around in the shop once again with the old Royal Enfields. You always got to work on No. <laughs> But Hubby just likes to tinker. I love to tinker. I love he to tinker does. on those. Just working on something so simple just brings me great joy. Just reminds me of the old days where anybody could work on their motorcycle. Yeah. But anyway, on that, we will bounce. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Heck yeah. It'll be hot the next couple of days. Yep. All right. We'll see how that all works out. It's going to be fun. Come along for the journey. Yes. Bye-bye <laughs> now.